then what is the next thing we need to understand so we need to calculate the inventory value we need to calculate the inventory value and then we need to calculate the profit under the marginal cost method for that i have a question for that i have a question so you can see the example number 3.3.1 marginal costing principles so please read and try to develop your answers rain llc makes a product the splash which has variable production cost of 600 rupees per unit and sale price of 1000 per unit at the beginning of the september there were no opening inventories and production during the month was 20 units fixed costs for the month were 4.5 million then there were no available marketing cost marketing cost what is the requirement first you need to read the requirement calculate the contribution and profit for the september using marginal costing principle the very simple thing you need to calculate the profit under the marginal costing method then what you need to do is first you need to highlight what are the information you need to take part for this calculation definitely you need to have the selling price yes you have the selling price of 1000 and you have the cost prime cost 600 this is the per unit cost this is the selling price and you need to have inventory balance so here you have you don't have the opening inventory but you have uh, production yes inventory and production during the month was 200 units here yeah. you have the current year production opening stock yak net you not answer yes this is the answer we can go step by step so please don't worry about the total or the whole process we can take one by one so what first of all what you need to do is first you need to decide your revenue how you can decide the revenue is salam api karanno ne profit ta ko yanna api aadaya madura gen indu ne aadaya madura ganne kohomada aadaya madura ganne sale price eka sales unit ganne multiply karno yes your selling price would be selling price would be 1000 1000 in your first situation you are going to sell 10000 units in your second situation you are going to sell 15000 in your third situation you are going to sell 20 uni 20000 units etakota api eka eka nishpadane api kochchara pramanayak vikunanawada e vikunanayake vikunum mila kiyeda kiyana gat ekka thamai api ita decide karanna puluwang wenne revenue eka yes you can take the selling price per unit and multiply it by what the number you are going to sell yes first time you are going to sell 10000 units under the selling price of 1000 yes you have 10 million revenue in the second stage in the second stage you are going to sell 15000 unit at a 1000 rupee so again you have the 15 million so again in the third stage you are going to sell 20000 units the selling price is the same that is 1000 again you have 20 million worth of revenue 20 million worth of revenue is it clear this is very simple thoda kenek sarlo yawo tape vyapare adaya ganne karanne kiyala hari sarla ene unit eka selling price again guna karan selling price again guna karapu ham apita mekena watina kam meno so the next thing is what under the marginal cost method under the marginal cost method you need to take the variable cost 
you need to calculate the variable cost. Yes, the variable cost, how you can calculate? Yes, very simple. You have the prime cost. Prime cost is 600 per unit cost. Per unit cost. Prime cost per unit is 600. Then you can multiply it by what? The production. That is not the selling amount. What the amount you produce? Api me vikuna puga ani ne me meka calculate karane. Api hadan na kochra gya de na. Api nishpa adne kara kochra de ek ek visida. Me hama avastha vaka dima. Oya nishpa adne karla dina ek ek visida ha khaya siya gani. Yes, you have this amount. That is, we can take it as thousand, right? Twelve thousand cost you can incur for your production cost. So, all are 1000 values. So, I can take it as 1000, 12,000, 12,000 and 12,000. Your income, 10,000. Here your cost is 12,000. Here your income is 15,000. Your cost is, or the production cost is 12,000. Here your income is 20,000. Your production cost is 12,000. Now, you can think in three different stage, you have losses and you have profits, right? Yes, after deducting the variable cost from the revenue, variable cost from the selling value, you can have the what? What you can have? You have the contribution. You have the contribution. But before that, before that, you need to decide another thing. You need to calculate the cost of sales now. You need to calculate the cost of sale, variable cost of sales. How you can calculate the cost of sales? Opening plus current year production minus closing. We don't have the opening stock. Api khata kara mulim api opening stock kya kne gyal? Ehi na api mea urde nishpa dene kara ki yagd rupee dolos dhaak bhand. एक एक आपे विक्य कोच्चर आगद, बाग ये आई, विसी दहाक निश्पाद ने करा, दहा दहा आई, विकुरांड पुलवांग उने, so you have remained 6,000, you have remained 6,000 closing inventory, है, आपे बांड विसी दहाक निश्पाद ने करा, में बलांड को, आपे बांड विसी दहाक निश्पाद ने करनो, में विसी दहाँ आपे पाले निवास्ता so, you need to keep this as your inventory. Then, in your second stage, you produce 20,000, you sold 50,000, sorry, 15,000. Visidha khadua, palos dha kwikka, itru ne ki yagda, itru enne pandai. Then you can have 5,000, you can take this one, 5,000 into 6, 600. Right? Then you have the 3000 value. In your third stage or the third situation, you produce 20,000 and you sold 12,000. You produce 20,000 and you sold 20,000. So, your closing balance get at 0. Your closing balance get it as 0. So, finally you can calculate the contribution. Yes, 12,000 minus 6,000, 6,000 remaining. 50, uh, 12,000 minus 3,000, 9,000 and 12,000 minus 0, that is 12,000. Yes, now you can calculate the variable cost of sale. How you can calculate the cost of sale? Again, you can say opening plus current year production minus closing stock. Opening you do not have. In first stage, you have 12,000 production and remaining 6000 that means your cost of sale value is equal to 6000 that is the answer here okay now you can think and you can know how to calculate the contribution ne palini avastha idi api contribution ekak haba gatte kohomada lamai aadayamen vikunum piriwa adu kar gatta ne e kiyanne ape vichalle piriwa ayen kar gatta hari sarulai etokota baand 20000 nishpadane kara 10000 vikka etokota api gawa ituruna half of units now your task is what? Now you have the contribution. That means you, if it is the answer, if there is any positive answer, that would be the contribution. 
again what positive make answer එකක් ඇවිල්ලා තිබුණා නම් contribution එක විදියට ඔයාලට මේ contribution එක use කරන්න පුළුවන් වෙනවා මොකටද ඔයාගේ fix cost එක ආවරණය කරගන්න we'll see yes in your first stage you have 4000 contribution again ඒ බාණ්ඩ 10000ක් වික්කහම රුපියල් 4000ක් ඉතුරුවක් තියෙනවා මොකද ඔයාගේ fix cost එක ආවරණය කරගන්න can you remember your fix cost would be 4.5 million 4.5 million here we can take it as 4500 4500 is your fixed cost ena 4500 ka fixed cost ek aawarane karaganna oya gawathin 4000 ehena oyata madi thawa 500 this is your loss in your second stage also your fixed cost is not going to be changed fixed cost එක අපි කිව්වනේ මොලම මම නිශ්චිත level එකක් වෙන එකක් එක වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ කියලා so you have the contribution of 6000 yes there is excess fixed cost එකත් cover කරාට පස්සේ යම් කිසි ප්‍රමාණයක් ඉතුරුයි මෙන්න බලමු 1500ක් ඉතුරු වෙනවා වාගේ ලාභ විදියට third step you produce 20000 worth of goods or the 20000 units and you sell all units you produce 20000 and you sold 20000 that means you don't have the finished or the final stock or the closing stock you earn 8000 contribution and your fixed cost is remaining same that is 4.5 million so you have the excess of 3500 by looking at this you can think and you can identify if you are going to improve your unit of sales gradually palini par 10000 wikke දෙවෙනි පාර 15000 වික්කේ තුන්වෙනි පාර 20000ක් විකුණනවා දැන් ග්‍රැජුවලි අපි වේග වෙනස් කරනකොට මොකද්ද අපිට උනේ අපි පළවෙනියම අපි ලොස් මේක් කරා හැබැයි පහු වෙන්න පහු වෙන්න අපි ප්‍රොෆිට් මේක් කරනවා දැන් යු කැන් ඩිසයිඩ් අන්ඩර් ද මාජිනල් කොස්ටින් ඉෆ් යු වොන්ට් ටු අර්න් ප්‍රොෆිට් වොට් යු කැන් ඩු ඉස් යු කැන් ඉන්ක්‍රීස් යුවර් නම්බර් ඔෆ් යුනිට් සෙලිං වොට් ද නම්බර් යු ආ සෙලිං දැට් If you can increase that amount, you can increase your profit as well. Appi marginal cost method deke yada the yada ema kudpaad ne karan no na labya gan no na apikar no ne mukad. Appe production units gan wagem production unit gan mukak puna. Appe selling units gan ready karagan ne. Okay. So there is an additional analysis or the you have the uh, analysis part. Hmm? What is that? So here you are going to calculate profit per unit and contribution per unit. How you can calculate the profit per unit? You can take the profit. Profit is here. You have the five hundred. I can take the thousand values, and this is your loss in your first level. If you are going to sell ten thousand unit, you make loss of five hundred thousand. So you can divide. This is your loss and divide by number of unit you sold number of unit you sold in your first level it is 10000 now you have 50 loss per one unit ekka unit ekak sell karaddi oya upayapu natta oya hadapu alabe thamai 50 again oya wikuna hama ekake gimma rupayal 50 ak alabai ad एक 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 क्विक कोट रुपया अपन हाँ कला बाई देखा क्विक कोट रुपया सी या कला बाई मैं का तमाय वाके पाले नहीं लेवल लेके प्रॉफिट टेक उन्हें इन योर सेकंड लेवल यस इट इस लिंक विद दिस इफ यू आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द प्रॉफिट फॉर यूनिट अंडर द सेकंड लेवल योर प्रॉफिट वुड बी हंड्रेड थाउसेंड � Here uh, there is a mistake, right? So you are profit would be one thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred means you can take one point five million divide by fifteen thousand. Then you have the hundred. This is your second level profit. If you want to calculate the profit for unit in the third level, you need to take. The profit as 3.5 million, and divide by number of unit you sold. That is 20,000. Then the answer would be 175. This is the answer. Okay.
With that understanding, you can cam, uh, calculate the contribution for unit tax. Contribution for unit, then what you need to take? You need to take the contribution first. You have the 4000 contribution divided by 10,000. You have 400. Here, you have 6000 contribution divided by 15,000. You have the 400. Here, you have 8000. 8,000 means here you need to take like this, right? 8 million divided by 20,000. Again, 400. So, that means you can identify the contribution for unit is equal. Contribution for unit equal. Eka unit take a daiki koi mela kotwena sunne darun. Selling price eka eka king value no kota. Datta selling uh, selling value eka eka unit taking vena sweno at thaman tar anupate kim a unit take value no kota cost take vena sweno anupate vena sa kunne. So parallelly it will increase. If you are going to increase one unit of production, then that amount if you can sell, then your contribution keeping like this. Why you are selling value? And the cost ratio is not going to be changed. Apni hi thamko ekab nishpaade ya rupeeal CIA ka tabi kuna ni. Make when when darupu viye thamo panhaai. Eto ora CIA ka panhaai ke nikad. Apni hi thamu dekha ta ekai ke naanu paate koi ele ko atvena sunne. This ratio is not going to be changed. Only the thing is going to be changed is what your production level and the selling level. Me ratio ek vena swin neti hinda mo oyaage contribution per unit kiye ne ko koi leka ot vena swin ne. Now you can understand. Me ke hondo mo deeta mai, vedakat mo deeta mai teerung kan noni mukak the under the absorption costing we have a complex calculations for calculating the profit. But when you have the marginal cost system, marginal cost system very easy to calculate the profit. If you know the profit margin or the profit per unit. Easily, you can calculate the total contribution and deduct the fixed cost, then you can easily calculate the profit. But when it comes to the absorption costing, it is not like that, it is totally difficult. I thought absorption costing is not the same thing, and the profit is complex. I think that the profit is not the same thing, the profit is not the same thing, and the total contribution is not the same thing, and the profit is not the same thing. This is the point number D. So please read. In our example, Expected profit from the sale, expected profit from the sale of 17,000 splash would be as follows. So, very simple. Now, you know the technique. You know the contribution for unit. Key the contribution for unit. Eka bandak nishpadane karla vikot. Oyata eking hambina adai. Manatam star piriwe avar nekar gand obata hambina pramane kiyak. Rupial harsi ek pramanya kitoru eno. Egane ekka band ek dispad ne karla vyalavi karo. Pirida ek rupial harsi ek kawa karke ni mihe kia vakti eno. Right? The contribution per unit. Contribution per unit multiplied by selling units. Then you can calculate the total contribution. Mulu daayakatte androgan noana ekka nishpadi teke daayakatte vadi karnoa kochar pramanya kvi kuno adhiki eni. Ena kape thi na contribution per per unit 400 multiplied by 17,000. Then it equal to it equal to Six thousand eight hundred. This is coming as a thousand value. Thousand value. If you want, you can put triple zeros here. Then this is the total contribution. If you want to calculate the profit, what you can do? Out of this, you can deduct the fixed cost. Fixed cost. It is not going to pay. It is not going to be changed. No. So you can deduct four point five million. 
4.5 million. 4.5 million. Again, you have the profit. Within three steps, using three steps, you can calculate the profit under the marginal cost method. First, you need to calculate the contribution per unit multiplied by number of units you are going to sell. Then you can calculate the total contribution. Then you need to deduct the fixed cost. You can calculate the profit. Very easy. Is there anything to learn more? No. Api hamade ma dhan noa. Pote dia karan din ni. Eh na. Ek 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 daa katte har daa katter pas ek vikunar band pramane ganing vadi kara guna kara. Ek ek ganing karna fixed cost ek. Then you can easily calculate the profit. This is the way. एक तो मैं मैं मार्जिनल कॉस्ट में तड़ देगा आप ही पाव चेक करने एक 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 वास यक पे नेत इसलिए यू कैन कैलकुलेट द प्रॉफिट इसलिए यू कैन कैलकुलेट द प्रॉफिट विद दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग यस यू कैन डू दिस कैलकुलेशन एंड प्लीज टेक्स फ्यू मिनट्स टू रीड दिस एंड कैलकुलेट द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ गिवन हियर Calculate the profit in April 2021 using uh, marginal costing principle and the method in section 2.1. What you need to do is first you need to calculate the contribution per unit and deduct the fixed cost. Calculate the profit if the sales had been 15,000 unit for mill and 16,000 unit of steam. Okay, you can see there are two products, mill and steam. So what you need to do is if you want to calculate the uh, profit for each and individual product. Very simple. You need to calculate the contribution. If you want to calculate the profit, first you need to calculate the contribution. What is the contribution? Contribution means selling minus variable cost. Variable cost. By looking at this information, what are the variable costs you can identify? Yes. According to the mill and steam product, you can identify direct material, direct labor, variable production overhead cost, and variable sales overhead. These are the variable cost. According to the stream, these four are the variable cost. Variable cost. So altogether, 80 plus 40 plus 20 plus 20, you have 160. This is the variable cost of mill. 140, 20, 10, 30. Altogether, you can have 200. This is the variable cost for steam. So your selling price. Your selling price, your selling price, is two hundred for mill and three hundred for steam. If you want to calculate the contribution for mill, contribution for mill, contribution for mill, what you can do is selling price minus variable cost. Selling price is two hundred minus variable cost. Variable cost is one hundred sixty. Contribution equal to forty. Yes, that is the amount we calculated here. The next steam. If you want to calculate the very uh, contribution for steam again, contribution equal selling price minus variable cost. Selling price equal to three thousand minus two hundred. That is hundred. That is the calculation here. If you want to calculate the total contribution, what you need to do is you need to multiply it by the number of selling unit. Yes, who you have the number of selling unit here? Under the mill, you have the ten thousand. Under the steam, you have the five thousand. All together, contribution is nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand. So your fixed cost. What is your fixed cost? Yes, your fixed cost. I can erase these things. By looking at the information, what are the things coming under the fixed cost? Yes, you have the fixed cost of the month, production fixed cost, administrative fixed cost, selling and distribution cost. All together, you have eight hundred thousand. So you can deduct eight hundred thousand from the nine hundred thousand. Your profit would be hundred thousand. This is very easy. This is very easy. This is not the thing you need to. Take much more. This would not be the thing you need to study. Make a hurry. Pass away. Make a terungan the thing that they are talking about. 
අන්තර්ග්‍රහණ ක්‍රමයේද ආන්තික ක්‍රමයේද කියන එකත් එක්ක ආන්තික ක්‍රමයට යනකොට ආන්තික ක්‍රමයේදී ප්‍රොෆිට් එක හදන්න මාර පහසුවක් ඔබට සිද්ධ වෙනවා මොකද්ද කන්ට්‍රිබියුෂන් එක අපි හදා ගන්න හින්ද වෙරි සිම්පල් so i am not going to do uh, or the yes if you want we can do the next part as well yes uh, the thing is if you are going to sell 15000 and 16000 uh, 15000 from the mill and 16000 from the steel no any change coming this part only the thing going to be change is the selling units yes you have 40 coming here and 600 this is the contribution per unit contribution per unit of mill 40 contribution for steam 100 so only the thing you are going to be change is your selling number of units mills you are going to sell 15000 and steam you are going to sell 6000 so altogether your contribution is 1.2 million so deduct the fixed cost fixed cost is not going to be changed very similar your profit would be 400000 so very easy so no need to take much time to explain this one so there is another thing important thing to discuss so we are going to for that we are going to for calculating these things that is the profit reconciliation what do you mean by the profit reconciliation why we need to have the profit reconciliation i mean laabha sasuduwak ona wenne laabha sasuduwak karanna thamai api dayanne ai laabha sasuduwak oni Yes, read. Reported profit figure using the marginal costing or the absorption costing will differ if there is any change in the level of inventories in the period. Now you know when you are going to calculate the inventory value under the marginal costing and the absorption costing can be totally different. Why? Under the absorption costing, inventory value consists with prime cost and the fixed cost. but under the marginal costing you have only the variable cost so your inventory value is going to be differ under these two methods etokota marginal cost method dekara hadana labhe ai absorption costing method dekara hadana labhe ai aniwaryenma figures dekak lamai etoru me figures deke wenasa thirne karanne ma kawuda me wenasa ta thirne ta heetu wenne ma kawuda inventory balance ek ai selling price wenas wenne ne fixed cost වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ selling units වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ cost එක වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ අපි එකම වෙනස වෙන්නේ මොකද්ද fixed cost එක attribute වෙන්නේ කොච්චරටද කියන කතාව විතරයි then you can decide what is the diff- what is the reason for making this kind of difference in the profit calculation under two section or the two uh, type caused by the inventory valuation etoru inventory valuation ekak hindama thamai meka wenne kiyana eka thamai me kiyanna hadana the difference in the profit reported under the two costing system is due to the difference inventory valuation method api eka pahadilu andura gatta if inventory level increase between the beginning and uh, end of the period absorption costing will reported the higher profit this is because some of the fixed cost overhead incurred during the period will be carried forward in the cost closing inventory to be set again the selling revenue the following period instead of being written off full against the profit of the period of the concern very simple i can explain using a uh, uh, example assume lamai in your financial year assume this is 2023 you are opening stock 100 and your production value is 500 also get 600 if you are closing inventory get 20000 200 so what is your cost of sale value what is your cost of sale value cost of sale value is 400 assume you are going to sell this or the you are uh, you can take like this right to 2022 this is your cost of sale no if your selling value is 1000 what is your profit ultimate profit is 1000 minus 400 it is equal to 600 me scenario ekam balana me 2022 adala gananaya kirimak kare wage vikunum 10 opening stock ekak 100i production ekak current ekak 500i 
क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री का देसी आप इतनी वाके लाभ है उन्हा हाया सी आप अबे अभी मेन वैल्यूज़ थी को मोहम्मद दामु देदास विजिट देखे हैं मा दाहाई ओपनिंग स्टॉक 100 करंट ये प्रोडक्शन 500 ऑल टुगेदर 600 एंड योर क्लोजिंग बैलेंस नॉट 200 इट इज़ इंक्रीज टू 400 इंक्रीज टू 400 नाउ योर कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल वैल्यू गेट इट एस 200 योर प्रॉफिट गेट इट एस योर प्रॉफिट गेट इट एस 800 व्हाट इज़ द फिगर वी आर गो वी हैव चेंज we have only changed only the closing inventory closing inventory balance we increased then ultimately your profit goes up api kare meke desiya harsiya karapu eka vithara e thoda mokoduna profit eka wedi una eka ma thamai neida me kiyanne balannuko inventory levels increase inventory level increase ah api wedi kara desi indala harsiya wenaka hari between the beginning and end of the period absorption costing will be report the high profit yes profit eka high si indala ta siya una if you want to increase your profit, what you need to do is you can increase your closing inventory. So that is the thing. That is the rationale. So with that understanding, we can move into the calculation and confirm that part. Yes, please come back to the calculation. Yes, here. Yes, very simple. We can take quickly this calculation. When opening inventory, वो 8,500 यस 8,500 दिस इस योर ओपनिंग इन्वेंटरी देन योर क्लोजिंग इन्वेंटरी 6,750 देन द प्रॉफिट 62,100 दिस इस द मार्जिनल कॉस्ट प्रॉफिट मार्जिनल कॉस्ट इन प्रॉफिट मार्जिनल कॉस्ट इन प्रॉफिट टेक आधार नंबर लाये में इन्वेंटरी है तूले फिक्स कॉस्ट टेक नहीं राइट so they are asking calculate the profit using absorption costing assuming that fixed overhead cost absorption rate is three अभी तो मौका देखिए अन्य आपे ओपनिंग स्टॉक के कती है ना वालों 8,500 डॉलर क्लोजिंग स्टॉक के कती है ना वालों क्लोजिंग स्टॉक के कती है ना वालों 6,750 वर्ड में तीन ने मार्जिनल कॉस्ट में तड़ने का हादसा पहुंचा मार्जिनल कॉस्ट में तड़ने का दे आर नॉट इनकॉर्पोरेट फिक्स कॉस्ट फॉर दिस so what you need to do is if you want to calculate the profit under the absorption you need to incorporate the fixed cost for this what you can do is you can take the difference you can take the difference the difference is what difference is adas pansi adas pansi ki hai da satya bana ki mukhi hai ek da satya bana hai i think it is clear Yes, zero zero five. Right, okay. Then this is the inventory difference. The difference between the number of unit. So that is seven hundred one thousand seven hundred fifty. So here you are not incorporate your fixed cost. Why? Why? Because of you are using the marginal cost. But when you are going to calculate the absorption cost profit, you need to incorporate. You need to incorporate the fixed co fixed cost for this inventory. For that, you can multiply it by this amount by three. Then you can have the five thousand two hundred and fifty. Additionally, you need to incur a cost. Additionally, you need to incur a cost. So what you need to do is you can take this profit. Profit is sixty two thousand one hundred. This is the marginal cost profit. Marginal cost profit, then inventory difference. Inventory difference. Inventory difference is five thousand two hundred fifty. That means in this profit you are not incorporate fixed cost. Now you are going to incorporate fixed cost for this, and finally you have the five thousand sorry fifty six thousand eight hundred fifty. This is the profit under the absorption costing. Very simple. हर साल लाइन लाम है। मार्जिनल कॉस्ट हाथ देना कोटा फिक्स कॉस्ट का दी बुन्ने। ये ना भी बोलता करे मैं इन्वेंटरी लेवल देखा था डिफरेंस का क्या था? इन्वेंटरी लेवल लेके डिफरेंस का टा अभी बोलता करे मार्जिनल कॉस्ट का अप्लाई करा। मार्जिनल कॉस्ट का टा बोलता करे फिक्स कॉस्ट का अप्लाई करा। Then your actual cost need to be increased by five thousand two hundred and at the lab, absorption cost in the gate at the 56,850. Yes, this is the way. Yes, this is the way. Okay. I think now it is clear for you. 
Okay, there is another question. Please try to attempt this as well. Last month, manufacturing company profit uh, was uh, two million. Calculate using the absorption costing. This is the profit of absorption costing, right? Then, if the marginal costing principle has been used, a loss. They are making a loss, right? This is a loss. Would have occurred. The company's fixed production cost is. 2000 per unit sale last month were sales last month were 10000 units so what is the requirement requirement is calculate the last month production they are asking the production for that what you need to do is first you need to identify the inventory inventory adjustments or the uh, the what is the is there any increment or is there any decrease in the uh, stocks so that is the thing first you need to identify for that there are uh, some hints you have the two profit calculations. So, under the absorption method, you have 20 million years. Under the marginal cost, you have the loss of 3000. Or you can take it as a 3 million years, 2000 minus again minus 3000 means you have minus 5000. Make a Management accounting will tell you that you make a Gani Teta Dal Prasnia, Dana Sankyaging, Adu Karanona, Rina Sankyak, Eka Rina Sankyak, Eka Tuenone, Ehenang, Ape Mepa Terawa. So you have the 5000. You have the 5000. Yes, minus minus it, take it as a plus. So you have the 5000. Ehenang may profit take a difference in the 5000. So the difference in profit, yes, you have the 5000. And the fixed production cost per unit, it is given. Fixed product, fixed, uh, fixed production cost per unit. So this amount may available in absorption rate again. Available in then you can divide it by the fixed production cost per unit. Five million divided by two thousand. The answer is you have two thousand five hundred units. Eh na make an Difference a kathikar la the inni men make in a rate take at take so you have made 2500 units so that is the answer then the under the marginal cost is lower than the absorption costing profit therefore inventory has gone up that is production was greater than the sales by 2500 so what you need to do is you are under the sales value you have the 10,000 so this amount you need to add that is why the uh, absorption costing profit greater than the uh, marginal costing. So, the unit actual unit would be 12,500. So, this is the thing you need to understand. So, finally, what we can do is, so we need to understand if you are going to reconcile the profit, very easy uh, equation is there. So, I will take another one minute time to discuss this so this is the thing you need to understand difference in profit difference in profit it makes api me profit take a difference ekak denne kohomada kiyala adura ganna changes in the inventory level multiplied by the overhead absorption rate changes in the inventory level multiplied by the absorption rate this is the equation you need to understand meka ma thamai api ara kare Ape labe venasune mokend, ape inventory level like venasim up calculate kara, eke multiply kara mokend the absorption rate again. Then you can identify the difference in the profit per unit. Right? The simple rational behind this is simple rational behind this is if the inventory levels have gone up, inventory level gone up means you are opening stock should be less than your closing stock right oya like opening stock ekak closing stock ekata oda adu inan api kiyenawa inventory ekak go on up una kiyala natha increase una kiyala then the absorption costing profit will be greater than the marginal costing etokota ena profit ekak hama elema closing stock ekak wedi wenawa wedi wenawa wedi wenawa kiyala kiyanne marginal cost ekak hadana profit ekata wada absorption costing ekak ena profit ekak wedi wenawa kiyanne the absorption costing profit will be greater than the marginal costing. Other way around, 
if the inventory levels goes down goes down means you are opening stock should be greater than the closing inventory me wage vela wak tibunoth absorption costing profit will be less than the marginal costing this is the rational you need to understand me deka dannawa nam puthe walata paper ekena onama gawanak nivardi wa sakas kirime hakiya wak tiyena so with that understanding so now you can understand what we have up to discuss so we discuss about what is the uh, uh, background for uh, absorption costing and marginal costing then uh, we identify what are the differences and then uh, later we discuss uh, what absorption costing and we calculated the inventory levels and the inventory valuation and the profit under the absorption costing then we come back or the later on we uh, discuss about the marginal cost uh, approach and how to value the inventory and the profit and finally we discuss how to reconcile how to reconcile the profit by calculating uh, each uh, under the marginal costing and the absorption costing and how to prepare our reconcili uh, reconciliation statement so those are the things we discuss up to now so in this lesson as well so all the information all the facts i uh, took from your study text so you can go through that and you can do the additional works so with that understanding we can complete the today chapter that is absorption costing and the uh, marginal costing so i think we did our best to calculate uh to some calculations and we get some theoretical understanding so my uh, 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 my advice is to please work uh, more to get more benefits with this uh, video and uh, do your homework and you can uh, definitely you can earn high marks for your end examinations thank you very much